Twitch just recently came out with a brand new Twitch bit goal that's built into the site, and I think it's pretty cool. So in this video, I'll teach you how to set up a Twitch bit goal for both your stream and your streaming software. And maybe if you're lucky, I'll even show you how to set up the alerts for it too, but only if you're good. So if that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. And enough yapping already, let's just do the dang thing. The first thing that we wanna do is obviously go to Twitch and log into our channel. And if you gaze your eyes right here, what are these beautiful panels I have here? You might be asking, yourself, Cody, did you make those yourself? I thought you had the artistic ability of a fourth grader using paint. Why, yes, I do, and I did. And it was actually really freaking easy. I used this new tool that I found called Kittle, and it makes everything so easy, and they were even nice enough to sponsor today's video, so it's a win-win. But as you can see right here, literally all I did was open up a new project. As soon as I opened it, I just went to their co-pilot, which is basically training wheels for dummies like me. All I did was type in Twitch panel, sent that bad boy. It's going to generate so many different Twitch panel backgrounds that you can use. All you gotta do is click on one, then you slap some text on it and you're good to go. Literally made a professional looking Twitch panel in a matter of minutes. So if you guys wanna try Kittle out for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below and you can use this code to save 25% off your first month or first year. Let's go back to talking about the Twitch bid goal. So anyways, we got our butts back over on Twitch and you can see right here that we have our goals. I got a sub goal, which I showed you how to do in a different video. Oh, there's a little animation. You see that? It's actually dope. I bet you there's going to be one for the bits when we actually have some. So we have the bit goal down here, which is what I'm showing you today. And what I really like about this one is that literally you can just click this button as a viewer and it will give you the option to cheer directly in the chat. So it makes it way more interactive. Now, obviously, I can't cheer my own channel because that would be money laundering technically, is it? I don't actually know, but regardless, we're not gonna do that, but we are gonna set up this goal and then you'll be able to set up this bar in your streaming software like OBS or Streamlabs if you want. So enough already, we're gonna go to the top right corner, click on our little icon, and then we're gonna click on creator dashboard. Then we're gonna wanna make sure that we have the monetization option open. And that just means that you're a Twitch affiliate, which means that you have bits unlocked, a sub button unlocked. And if you don't know how to do that, all you gotta do is hit these requirements right here. And I'll leave this linked in the description down below. And once you've reached these requirements, you can submit your application to Twitch and become a Twitch affiliate to unlock the bits and sub button. So if you guys are struggling to grow and hit these actual requirements, I have an entire playlist in the top right corner that you can watch for free and then come back after you have unlocked the bits. So assuming you're a Twitch affiliate and you have your stuff unlocked, and by the way, if it doesn't unlock like the day that you hit affiliate, just give it a day or two. Sometimes there's lag between unlocking your bit and options and stuff like that over here. So don't freak out, it happens to everyone. But what we're gonna do is go to the stream manager tab on the left side here. And then I'm going to X out of this because I don't like reading. If you don't see this manage goals button right here, you're going to click this little plus button underneath my webcam. So click on that. And basically these are just quick action buttons that are going to make your life easier when you're streaming. And one of these things is the manage goals button. What you're going to do is add this one. Obviously I already have mine added. So you're just going to hit add. So once you have that added, you'll see it on this little panel here for your quick actions. If you're not seeing the quick actions, maybe you accidentally, you know, didn't see it here. So you can just click on one of these other ones and add the quick action little window here, or you can pop it out. It's really up to you. But regardless, we just wanna click on the manage goals button that we just added. So we're gonna click on that. And now you can see we got a follower goal, sub goal, bits goal, and plus program goal. If you don't have Twitch affiliate, you can probably still use the follower goal, but just not these, cause you haven't unlocked them yet. Now, right now I already have one going just so I can demonstrate what it looks like to you. So I'm going to end this goal and we're gonna make a brand new one together. So I ended the goal. I'm gonna go to manage goals, button again and now this is what yours should relatively look like first you're going to set the goal amount so how many bits do you want the maximum goal to be a thousand bits roughly in us dollars when the streamer gets it is about ten dollars you can usually guesstimate one penny per bit depending on what currency you're using i think a good beginner goal amount would probably be a thousand if you're a little more intermediate maybe do ten thousand it really just depends on how deep your viewers pockets are feeling at that moment in time so you can justify it on your needs and people are like oh well i only stream for fun i know Oh, there's at least 80% of you that are just in it for the money. So don't think you're fooling anybody. I'm talking about you, Adam. So I'm going to set the goal amount to a thousand. We're going to do bit count. We can either do new bits or new cheers. So you can change the bit count from new bits to new cheers. And basically, if you have it on new bits, it's just going to be a thousand bits, right? But if we change it to new cheers, then it's going to be any amount of bits from individual people. So let's say Adam donates one bit, then that'll be one out of 10 cheers. Let's say Susie donates 
it's 100 bits. That'll be two cheers. So it doesn't matter the value that they're cheering to you, but it's going to matter like who's actually cheering. So depending, you could use either goal depending on whatever your needs are. Then we have the goal alerts, which I might show you guys at the end of the video if you're lucky. So stick around till then. We'll see. They are very neat. So and they're a little in depth, but we'll, we'll see if you guys are on your best behavior or not. But what's more fun than that, kind of not really, is the customized progress bar right here. So you can change whatever color. Well, really not whatever color. You got a handful of options. So I wish they gave us more options here, but whatever. So you can choose whatever themes you want. Just pick a color. I like the black and blue if you guys couldn't tell by the, the shirt, but we're going to hit save. And then we're going to scroll down and this is how we're going to add it into our streaming software like OBS Studio or Streamlabs or whatever the heck you're using these days. So what you'll do is hit this little copy button. And by the way, you can see like what the preview looks like here a little bit. And I'm kind of bummed that you can't do more customization on this, which kind of sucks. But the reason I do like this more than other bit goals is because it has that direct integration on your Twitch profile page. And that way it makes it, I think, more likely for people to actually go and donate to you when there's that interactive button that I showed earlier. But anyways, copy this little browser source URL and open up OBS Streamlabs or whatever your streaming software is. All right, so I've opened up my streaming software, which has to be OBS in this instance. I normally use Streamlabs, but it's easier because I'm recording. Never mind. Anyways, we're going to hit the plus button under sources, and then we're going to go to browser because we're going to add that browser source. And we're going to call this BitGoal, and then we're going to hit OK. And now we're going to paste in that URL that we just got and then hit OK. And then give it a second to load and oh my god that is a chunky boy i do not like it like that hey guys it's editing cody which means that i need to come in to explain something a little better some of you might notice if you're uh, not oblivious like me that this is not a bit goal well the reason why i have this sub goal here is because if you don't have your bit goal started on the actual twitch page it's going to use whatever goal is already started so in this case i already have a sub goal started but as soon as we start our bit goal over on twitch this is going to change from our sub goal to to our bit goal, which I know is a little confusing, but I'll get to that in just a second. Obviously, we don't like how ugly and fat this is, so we're gonna double click on this browser source and we're gonna change the width to 1480 by 160, and then we're gonna hit OK. And now this is going to give us that nice, slender little box that we wanted. So then here, you can feel free to adjust the size as you would like, and that way it's gonna be there. However, it still says sub goal. So how do we change that? Let's actually go back over to Twitch, and I'm gonna show you real time that it's gonna automatically change as soon as we start the goal so let's go over to twitch so as i mentioned earlier i'm using both the subscription goals so obviously i have this one here it started so by default it does that but as soon as i use the bits one right here then i'm going to hit the start goal so this is obviously that link we're gonna hit start goal it's gonna start with by adding this cool little banner which i really really like over here but now that we've actually started that bit goal let's go back into obs studio and you'll see that it's actually been updated to the bit goal so right here didn't even have to actually do anything and it's automatically updated updated to the bits goal. Now, for whatever reason, it didn't do that for you. Just double click on the browser source, scroll down, and then click on refresh cache of current page. You shouldn't have to do that, but it's always a nice backup in case things get a little wonky sometimes. One dumb thing that I've just come to realize is that for whatever reason, Twitch is only letting you use one of these previewable browser sources to put in your software. So you're going to have to make a decision if you're using multiple of them, like I am, which one you want to display on your stream, if any at all, because honestly, you you don't even really need to display this if it's below your Twitch stream, but it seems like it's going to use and display whatever the last goal you started was. So in this instance, we had the sub goal started here, but it uses the same browser source here as the bit one, which means that it's only going to display whichever the last goal you started was. So just keep that in mind. I think it's just as dumb as you're probably thinking right now. So hopefully Twitch makes that change because I don't think it's that hard to make, but hopefully we'll see what they do. But Twitch is Twitch sometimes. So you know what I mean? But anyways, let's go back to the video. And so now if we go back to our Twitch profile or that little channel page, give it a second and go to the chat tab here, scroll down. You can now see that we have a little Twitch bit goal. And then if people want to click that button, it'll automatically like preset them into your Twitch chat to cheer their bits that they have or inform them that they need to buy them because they're broke, but that's okay. So I mentioned earlier that if you guys want to set up the alerts, it also can add more interactivity to your goal because if someone like gets the progress of the goal, like halfway or whatever, that can pop up over your stream. And I feel like that would incentivize more people to give more bits to you, which I know you guys probably want. But the convenient thing is, is I already have an entire video going over the entire Twitch alert system. So just go ahead and watch that video to the side of me because I'd cover it way more in depth than I would right now, last minute, trying to shove it out to you guys. So go watch that video. My my name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.